Hi, everyone. I'm James Sabolski along with Ray Ferraro here of the EA Sports Broadcast crew, ready to bring you a fun one tonight. Let's send it down to Ray Ferraro, who is between both benches ringside, Ray. I want to see tonight, James, who's going to be able to take care of the puck. Both teams have been plagued by turnovers of late. They turn the puck over, they make themselves defend way more often than need be. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Huskies take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Here's an opportunity, and that one stopped. Up along the wing. Here they are on the attack. Slides the puck near the front of the net. And that's blocked. On the attack, moves the puck into the corner. Moves it to Roberts. Nice pass. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. Ruin Narendez on the attack. Takes the pass. Air mails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. Here's a short pass to Roberts. Roberts will play it to the corner. The backhand, and that goes off a player in front. Another stop by the goaltender. The Huskies will play it in their own end. Taken down, and the officials caught it. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Let's see what the official says here. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now on the man advantage. And manages to clear the zone. Carries it across the line. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. With some momentum driving towards the net. Gets it out of his own end. Slides the puck across to Roberts. Moves the puck along the half wall. From the slot, wrist shot, big save. And manages to clear the zone. Brandon's got the puck along the boards. Into the offensive zone. With possession along the wall. On the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. More than half the period left to play. It's all tied up. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Through center along the wing. Along the half wall with the puck. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. Pretty nasty whack and slashing the call. If you're going to slash somebody, don't slash him in the pants where it makes all kinds of noise. He gets called up for that almost every time. Passes it over to Roberts. Here's an odd man rush. Quick feed to Roberts. Moves it around along the half wall. Here he is in front. There's the goal. In the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. The Wee Kings have jumped out to the early lead just the way any coach would want to see. Well, now that you're out in front, you want to push the game. Make the opponent have to scramble around the ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. On the backhand, he scores! And this place is going bananas. They know what the moment's all about. Well, I guess we know who the first star is probably going to be. That's three for him tonight. Here in the late goings of the period, Brandon's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Sends a pass over. Too easy with the glove. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. his own face off and he wins the draw scores anything you can do i can do better wow that didn't take very long did it they give up the one goal and they go right back down the ice and score that's really impressive work cool. off the draw he ties up his opponent ruin Noranda's ready to go on the attack 
Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Carries it in. Quick pass to Roberts. On the attack along the boards. The Huskies have it from their own end. The Wee Kings have it against the wall. Ruin Naranda's got possession at center. Moves the puck. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, we've already got 20 minutes under our belt here. What are your thoughts of this one so far? Ryan Durand is prop. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. I get what he's thinking. Lots of times you don't want to fight the guy that's staring you down. Looks like a couple penalties coming up. One for each side here, Ray. The officials are being kind here. They could have thrown a whole whack of guys in the box after that mess, but it's just one aside. Sends it over to Bergeron. Takes it across the blue line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Huge steal in his own end. The Wheat Kings have been in such good position all night long. Stick position is critical as they continue to intercept a lot of passes. Handles it along the blue line. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the feed. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. Dead eyes him on the play. Man, they've worked the puck around so well on this shift. They've totally worn out the defending team. About two things are going to happen here, it seems like. They're going to either take a penalty or they're going to give up a goal. This is a great shift. Brandon's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's a one-goal hockey game. 3-2 is where we sit. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Makes the save. And he gets the puck right back. Roberts brings it in. With possession along the wall. Shot. And that shot dies in traffic. And now he angles it across to Roberts. The Huskies gain control of the puck against the wall. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Great block on the play. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. It doesn't work. No, no. none. That goes off a twig. Fresh loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Drives it to the front of the net. Gets in front of it. Great defensive stick work on the play. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a backhander. Denies it in front. The Wee Kings have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Moves it around along the half wall. Jostling for the puck, and it's knocked away. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Blocked in front. Heads deep inside. Scores! This is getting insane. It is crazy how often the puck tonight seems to end up on his stick. And then when it's on his stick, it ends up in the net next. What a game.
This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. On the attack along the boards. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot. Too much congestion blocks the shot. That'll do it to end period number two. This game's still up for grabs. And boy, talk about an offensive display tonight. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Over the line they come. He got all of that hit. Brandon's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Ruin Noranda's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Weed Kings get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Roberts. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Huskies get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come on the attack. It's the pass over. And he went too high on that one. Trying to get it right under the bar, and he zips it up over top of the net. Grabs the puck. Handles the puck. And they send it right back to him. Sends it over. Out Whoa. front. He scores! Well, they break the tie here, James. This game had been hotly contested since it's been leveled. They now have found a way to jump into the lead. Good job tangling up his opponent here. With possession along the wall. Backhand with intention. Gives them nothing in front. Dead center. Excellent save. Through the neutral zone. Moving the puck along the side. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. Back to the blue line. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Carries it across the line. Here's a chance. Here's a blast. Passes on over to Roberts. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's Whoa. a backhander. He scores. You talk about memorable nights. This has to be right up there. Man, it's like he's at practice. Every time he shoots the puck, it ends up in the back of the net. What a game for him. Here in the later stages of this period, Brandon's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Carries it in. Moves it to Gagnon. Steps into it. Off target. From behind his own net. Approaching the final minute of regulation. Long reach brings up the momentum. Into the corner now. Denied by the blocker.